we have got awesome speakers. They have got wonderful stories to tell. But by default, I am the professor. And you all know, professors don't share stories. They will give lectures. <laughs> and uh, thanks to TEDx Ramba, they have given me such a time after, directly after the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to do the justice. I don't have a story to share with you. But definitely I have to share with you the very serious concern. The concern is very serious. Now this is an emergency. Yes, this is an emergency. Today we are facing a very big problem. Yeah, we are facing a very big problem. And you are thinking it's COVID-19 pandemic. But it is much more bigger than COVID-19 pandemic. Let me ask some question. Let me ask some question. Why everybody in the world is talking of electric vehicle? Why India is still BS5 and directly jump to BS6 fuel? Why Supreme Court of India ordered BS6 compliant vehicle from April 2020? And why there is a concern for petrol and diesel? It means and it shows somewhere a big problem has happened. And that big problem is climate crisis. So my talk is basically on climate. And I will go and let it with automotive. So the problem is climate crisis. Now climate crisis is because of climate change, global warming and air pollution. These three are interlinked and interdependent. Now let's go to some very basic to understand climate change and global warming. Climate change is nothing but the expression of the problem. The long-term weather pattern caused by global warming. Global warming is a concern. The earth is gradually warming. And third one is air pollution, the harmful chemicals and particles in the air, which is not suitable for life. Now, this problem, climate change, global warming and air pollution. So who is the culprit? Who is the culprit? The culprit is fossil fuel. One and only one, fossil fuel is the main culprit. Fossil fuel which we get by extracting and digging the earth's surface. Petrol, diesel, kerosene, coal. This is all fossil fuel and this is a dirty fuel. This creates a crisis. Fossil fuel is mostly used in automotive industry and electrical generation industry. These two industries we are using fossil fuel. Now, the entire world is impacted by this crisis. Please know, the entire world is impacted by this crisis and particularly our country, India. Bharat is very, very vulnerable to it. And suffer a lot. We are, we are suffering a lot by this crisis. I will not go last year, last to last year. This year itself, we have air pollution. Our air quality is so bad. We have the worst air quality in the world. Mumbai and Delhi, you all know. And many other parts of our cities, we have the very bad air qualities. We have extreme climate events this year. We have extreme rainfall in some part of India, which leads to flood in Hyderabad. We have extreme Rainfall deficit in some part of India, like Maratha and in the uh, northeastern side of India. We have this year cyclones. Nivar, we have, we have Amphan, we have Nisarga. 
Apart from the cyclones, we have torrential rain this year. We have extreme heat gaps, which every year we break the records. This year we break the record of last year, last to last year, last five years, ten years, back to fifty years, and even hundred years record we have break. So all this leads to all this leads to loss of life and properties, more severe diseases. and more farmer suicides. Being a professor, we used to teach students. This is the classical physics law, Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction. So human action, climate reaction. If we go on using the dirty fuel, Definitely, nature will throw the crisis to us. There is one old Hindi saying, old Hindi saying, "Jis khali mein khana, usi mein chhed karna." Jis khali mein khana, usi mein chhed karna. Exactly, we are doing the same thing here with our planet. We are damaging the planet. Now, to reduce the damage, we want the solution. We have the problem. Now we want the solution. So now what's the solution? Solution is sustainable mobility. Sustainable mobility is the solution. But please, sustainable mobility doesn't mean only electric vehicle. Because whenever we used to say sustainable mobility, people start thinking it's electric vehicle. It is not only electric vehicle. It may be any vehicle which run on green fuel. So my statement here is EV versus EV. EV versus EV. So EV is not the future. Versus EV is the future. So I am saying the two contradictory statements at the very same time. EV is not the future. If we are using the electric vehicle and charging that vehicle with the electricity produced by coal-based power plant. Because once again, coal is a fossil fuel. We are standing in the middle of the desert once again. Versus EV, if we are going to charge the electric vehicle with the renewable sources like solar or wind energy, then we can say it's a sustainable mobility. So EV, when I say EV, so it's not electric vehicle. The sustainable mobility EV is eco-friendly vehicle. EV eco-friendly, it's not electric because everybody is talking about electric vehicle. So the notion is we want eco-friendly vehicle. So here, as you can see, what is the relation between the Petrol gun between the petrol and sugar cane. What is the relation? There must be some relation. You know, today whenever you drive your car and take it to the petrol pump to fill the fuel, at that time that fuel pump man, what he does? He pour the entire sugar cane juice glass into the tank of petrol. यस वो पूरा एक ग्लास सुगर कैन जूस को पेट्रोल टैंक में डाल देता है अब सीरियसली अमेजिंग ना बट यू डोंट डू लाइक इट सर प्लीज अगर आपको भी कोई ग्लास सुगर कैन का ऑफर करे या पाइप का दैट यू पेट्रोल भी ओपन करके सीधा उसको पोर नहीं करना प्लीज इट इस प्रोसेस एंड कन्वर्टेड इट इस प्रोसेस द सुगर कैन इस See, try to understand. All major, all marketing company today blend petrol with five percent ethanol, which we get from sugar cane. Yeah. Tomorrow, maybe by two years, three years, five years, this blend from five percent to fifteen percent to 
we have challenges but with the challenges come the opportunities and this is art of survival without opportunities how will we survive so here comes the opportunities tenth bill ford mention is a quote by bill ford why the challenges are great so are the opportunities we have the great challenges here in india so we have the huge opportunities so what is the opportunity so these are the opportunities so we have demographic dividend as mr minister has very clearly mentioned that india is the country of young population so we have demographic dividend india is a country of young population so it is much more easier to aware them of the climate threat and mitigation the first thing is requires awareness awareness is very important to the first one demographic means the opportunity second is financing models and incentives in india we have 22 cars per 1000 people we have 22 cars per 1000 people in us and uk we have somewhere around 700 plus cars per 1000 people so a huge market size so it's very much easier to convince the people for the green fuel vehicles with the right financing models and incentives third one is government policies india is committed to paris climate agreement and sustainable development goal 2030 so as per our commitment we have to india have to slash 30% of emission by 2030 so the timing is right timing is very right we have a favorable government policies so government is pushing the industry for green fuel vehicle and related infrastructure so we have a right timing for what is affordability year on year electric vehicle is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper because of advanced battery chemistries higher ranges and renewable infrastructure this segment get a boost and hence it's very affordable to purchase the electric vehicle and fifth one is the economically appealing green fuel vehicle is much more cheaper than petrol and diesel the running cost of green fuel vehicle is very low Somewhere around twenty to thirty rupees per liter in the green fuel, as compared to petrol. You know the price today. So it's much more cheaper. So it's very economically appealing. So the, so my point here is, that all these opportunities brings lots of hope for survival. Hope for survival. First, we all get. the clean air to breathe we get a clear sky to gaze the star and definitely the new opportunities are coming for career and business and class remember covid 19 has vaccine for cure but climate crisis don't have vaccine it's only our act which can save our planet earth so i patan wala take a pledge to act for the betterment of our environment are you all with me yes are you all with me yes thank you very much and i'm 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 very sorry very sorry So my talk is not a story, but it is a concern, and it is an eye opener. And I want to share that this is an opportunity also. Thank you so much.